Hi, I'm Mary. I'm in my early 40s, a professional in my field, making about $200,000 a year. While I was younger, my friends advised me to ditch relationships and focus on climbing the corporate ladder. I did that, and now I'm in my 40s, ready to settle down. Now no man wants me. Was I lied to? Why do they have to ruin my life? I have no kids and no husband. Only money. Some newlyweds just moved into our neighborhood. I'm so jealous of them. I want to feel this happiness too, but unfortunately, I can't anymore. If only I didn't tell Mark to fuck off, or not call David a creep. My advice to other women is to not listen to these feminists. It's too late for me now. Don't let it be too late for you too. I've heard stories like this to the extent that my ears are about to fall off. Don't these modern women hear these stories, or they're just deaf? Don't pity them. They made their lives this way. I mean, I thought you all said you don't need us. Good job living and dying alone. We men don't give a fuck anymore. Can any of you relate to this story? Most of us have heard about it, or maybe read about this in several journals over the past few years that discuss the community of boss women. Thanks to their newly discovered sense of entitlement, women of today have changed how they view the world. The way women view the world and the men in it have changed drastically around the globe. The independence and self-reliance of women have unexpectedly increased. They've started to believe they can survive without men. Back then, things were rather different. Women never made comments like these in the 1950s and 1960s. My grandfather always believed that the worst thing science has ever done for humanity was to eliminate manual labor. Men consequently developed weaker physical strength and a greater tolerance for laziness. Women started to think that life had always been this easy. Obviously not. When was the last time a woman helped move bricks, looked after animals, carried food sacks, or labored in the fields? This is why so many modern women believe it to be true. The 1990s saw a significant economic shift as more women entered the workforce, the internet exploded, and there were more computer positions available to them. There were suddenly a lot more opportunities that required less social connection, less interpersonal skill, less physical labor, and more mental effort. Things like sitting at a desk and typing code or responding to emails. Along with a multitude of innovative new jobs, career prospects, and educational pathways, a new generation of higher education institutions and professional sectors has developed. Additionally, anyone with internet access can visit there and learn about other people's ideas and perspectives. Women started working, grew accustomed to having their own money, and all of a sudden could afford the clothing and cosmetics they had been pleading with their husbands for. They then spread their message by going on the streets, where they wrote articles and engaged in informal conversation about how they no longer needed men's services. What sort of ignorance would that inspire? Their worldview has become so narrow that they now think there are only men in it. While they do require men to maintain positions of power, a woman contended that they are not required in normal life. They must believe that men do not work, or that all men are superhumans who carry the weight of the world on their shoulders. No man would spend time and effort on such unimportant things unless he had a secure house and a steady salary. The other possibility is that he has more important matters to attend to. Women see, choose, and occupy the most visually beautiful of these houses that men build, at which point they begin to think that this is the standard for living in the world as a whole. That is incorrect. For guys, women are not necessary. In our homes or our lives, women have no place. Neither of us like dating women all that much. Women are a liability over the long haul. We require women primarily for reproductive purposes, and only for that. Women need our help. Let's examine how the world ought to function. The majority of men work in trades including plumbing, carpentry, electrical work, and others that are comparable. People may now devote their attention to exploring everything else of interest because humanity has advanced. Men have worked the hardest over a long period of time to build a world in which hunger and thirst are unusual, if not non-existent. The modern world, where people don't need to trek a mile every day simply to acquire water, is something our forefathers could never have envisioned. And even then, they had to be careful not to waste it. Some women could think that everything is the way it has always been, and that hidden women are working as farmers or engineers who keep things in order. Women do work in this industry, although their representation is far lower than 1%. 
Men are frequently forgotten, even though they keep the world together. Furthermore, it is a fact that women's ideals and perspectives have boundaries. We do want female company, and rejection is painful, but we move on. It makes no difference if a man may have failed with women for years, because his value grows as he gets older. A man is at his prime in his early 30s, a man who has his life in check, his fitness, and his finances. At that point, all the ladies he was interested in have lost their appeal. A woman reaches the wall, or the time at which she is no longer as desirable or as desirable to men when she is in her late 20s. Their charm fades quickly. Millions of guys previously would go to any lengths to be with her. She is now lonesome and difficult to approach due to the unexpected change. No man wants her. We're growing even more, and we're having more success. Due to this unforgiving reality, single women are always on the lookout for a partner before things go very bad. They are aware that no one will bother them if they refuse to cooperate. That's all for today on Manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons, and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time, cheers.